Hi everybody, this is Ride Chair Lisa. How are you today? Coming back with a quick video today this morning. So um, we're doing the campaign, all the ride chair drivers, delivery drivers, all the shoppers, you know, um, YouTubers, um, campaign going on for Feeding America, which is the largest food bank distribution center in the world, or in the United States, I should say. And um, the uh, Uber Man Tampa let us know that the campaign is actually going to be going on until May 31st. We're trying to hit that goal of 25000 I know we probably won't hit 25000 but trying is the best thing. So, Feeding America, I got the link in my description down below. So, their mission is, uh, the mission statement is to feed all Americans through a network of food banks throughout the United States, in which they're doing right now. All you got to do is, when you get onto the website, put in your um, zip code, and they'll tell you where you're the closest food bank that... Um, they sponsor in your area. Um, now, 98% of your donation goes directly to fund the programs for Feeding America. 98%. That is probably the biggest part of a donation for any company giving 98%, okay? So that means the 2%, if you look on the website, I'm assuming goes to trucks and overhead because it is all volunteer. It is a charity organization. Your, your um, donation is all tax, your donation is tax exempt which means you can be another write-off at the end of the year. Feeding America helps one in seven Americans every year. Now, if we can get some donations going and hopefully raise, raise that or at least match it right now because if they feed on a normal basis, one in seven Americans, can you imagine uh, what ratio is now with all these Americans the jobs are gone and um, they're stuck home nobody's nobody's working there's nobody supplying the pantries because um, everybody they don't have money people just they need the food themselves let alone supply it so we really need to see if we can get some money over there to help them with the people, our fellow Americans, so they can learn to help themselves, so they can learn to um, take care of their families like they used to. You know, it's got to be hard and it's got to be so, I don't know. It's got to be hard, and it's got to be just... Can you imagine going from a day-to-day -day life without a care in the world to going to a food pantry looking for food to feed your family? It, it, it's got to be the worst feeling in the world. And I know a little bit of something about that because there was times where... I really needed help so this is my time to give back and I really hope that people who are working who who do have money coming in I hope that you want to help as well now for the people who cannot donate the people who don't have any money don't worry about donating but there are so many other ways that you can help out you can share the videos share all the videos Mine, Uberman Tampa's, Right Share Rookie, Roxanne's, everybody's. Just 
share the videos and you know on your your Instagram, your Twitter, all the social medias that you have. Share them. Um, educate. You know, education is also another big thing. And that's exactly what we're doing right now is we are educating others as we're trying to get donations. So education is another thing. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's free of charge. Go ahead and um, pray. Tell the Lord that you're thinking of these people who are so in trouble right now that it's just it's heart wrenching you know or just volunteer go ahead and volunteer your services at your local food pantry at your local soup kitchen um, volunteer wherever volunteers are needed that could you, you can help that way too as well um there's so many different ways of helping without having to give up a dime if you don't have that money to give up but if you do have the money to give up it would be great if you could click on the gofundme link down below and um It would be great if you could click down below to the GoFundMe link and give your your donation. You know, um, put it in somebody's name. Do you know somebody who is not um, somebody who's not on their feet right now? Somebody who is in trouble. Put it in their name, like I did with my mom. My, my mom. She always said, you know, I wonder if my name will be, my mom always said, she goes, I want my name to mean something, you know? So that's when I started to St. Jude and, um, I would donate to St. Jude and her name. So if you know of somebody who needs the services or the help, and you want to put it in their name, fantastic. But go ahead and we have these truck drivers that are out and we're so excited that they're out and helping um, deliver goods and services across America. Wouldn't that be great if we could also use these truck drivers to bring food to the pantries? So giving is giving. Giving, no matter how you give, giving is giving. Whether you give it by a dollar amount, whether you volunteer and giving it yourself, or if you are just praying or educating people or whatever you need to do to... Um, To help that would be fantastic so just go ahead and um, click the click the so go ahead click the link below and start helping people today whoa wow another GoFundMe but with this GoFundMe think about the people who are waiting outside soup kitchens people who are waiting outside pantries People who haven't gotten their stimulus checks. People who have not gotten their unemployment. They they ran out of food because they have they have to feed their families. They ran out of food. You know? And so going to these places are the, their only hope. And as you can see in Noah's video, if you watch his video you'll see that Catholic Charities line miles long of people waiting. Miles long. How would you like to be the last person in that line? It, it's not fun. And for one, you have to go to a food pantry 
which you never thought you had to. For two, you're the last one in line. You have your family to think about. You got your wife, your husband, your kids are depending on you. And you're the last one in line in this food pantry, hoping it doesn't run dry. So please give as much as you can. Pray, share, definitely share these videos. Okay, we, people need to know. People need to, to to help. You know. So, and even if you can't and you share it, you're gonna share it to somebody or other people who can help. And then, because you shared it, because you didn't have the money, somebody else saw it and was able to help. Lisa, please take care and everybody just take care of yourselves, take care of each other, all right?